Right now, same-sex couples only two hours away from getting a civil union license. 7 News Live in both Boulder and in Denver. The Boulder County Clerk's Office is going to preparing to open at midnight and a line already forming outside the Wellington Webb building in Denver. Just an hour ago, a group out Boulder hosting this pre-union party at Fate Brewing Company. About a dozen people beginning the historic night with friends before going to the county clerk's office. 7 News reporter Mark Stewart live in Denver, where the first couple has been waiting for eight hours now. And Mike, we've been talking to people here in line at the very front, surrounded by their friends, is a couple from Aurora. Just check with the clerk's office. It's not clear exactly how many people here uh, will go through this line, but regardless, everyone here knows this will be historic. I'm just so thrilled and so excited. David Westman and his partner Anthony Aragon will soon make their 16 year relationship official. A civil union will give them new legal rights in Colorado. What happens if one of us is in the hospital? How are we going to visit each other? What happens if well, one of us dies? Who's going to get the house? With arrows pointing to each other as the groom, they're attending a pre celebration dinner along with many other couples. And there will probably be tears, but it's tears of joy and it's tears of of, of true love. They're not alone. These women from Aurora will be the first. I'm excited. A new sign reading marriage and civil union licenses is now posted at the county clerk's office. The end result of a political fight that saw some of the state's most conservative lawmakers defy party lines. I don't think it is a partisan issue. No, I think that there are a lot of Republicans like myself who who support the idea of equality and that it is the right thing to do. Not everyone sees eye to eye, and there is a police presence here. However, we have not seen any protesters. The first ceremony involving everyone here will take place just after midnight. A number of elected officials are going to participate, and we will be here past midnight to record what is clearly a historic day here in Colorado. Reporting live in Denver, Mark Stewart, 7 News.